Well, the Yankees season is underway. Opening day was on Thursday, and Yankees are playing baseball again. But I want to go back to a trade that the Yankees made one day before opening day, and that was when the Yankees traded for John Birdie. Now, this is really a genius move here by the Yankees, and I want to talk about it because it is going to help the team out a ton. Now, this was a three-team trade that the Yankees did, where the Yankees traded away Ben Wortvet to the Rays, prospect John Cruz to the Marlins, and in return received John Birdie. The Yankees essentially took nothing and made it into something. Because they had five catchers on the 40-man before the trade, Wortvet was out of options, so they were either going to have to carry three catchers on the, on the roster, which is not a smart move to make, or they were going to have to DFA Wortvet. In, instead, they trade away Wortvet while including John Cruz, who is a decent prospect, 18 years old, toolsy player, He's was ranked in the high 20s, high 20s on the Yankees' top prospect list. So, not a notable player, exactly. So, really nothing into something, because they got John Birdie. Now, Birdie is a 34-year-old right-handed hitting shortstop slash utility man. We'll get more, we'll get on to more about his defense and position later. But, he's had an above-2 war in 2022 and 2023, with just over 100 games played in both seasons. Now, he had really good hitting numbers last year. He hit 294 with a 344 on base, 405 slugging, for an OPS of 748. I don't even want to know where that batting average would have ranked on the Yankees last year, because <laughs> they were just so bad. But even when you average Birdie's last two seasons... Because 2022 was a worse year for him. Over the last two years, he's hit a collective 268 with a 334 on base, 373 slugging for an OPS of 707. Not great, but not bad. He's hitting for a decent average there. He also doesn't strike out a lot. He puts the ball on play. And he's just a good player in that way. Good baseball player, not someone who swings for the fences. Just ball and play. The real thing about Birdie is the defense and speed. Now, he's an above average defensive shortstop. Shortstop is a premium position. If you have above average defense at shortstop, you are a good player, even if you're not hitting that well. And Birdie's bat, it's serviceable. So, above average shortstop, same at third base about an average second baseman, and he's played all of those positions a lot over the last two years. He's also played left and center field a decent bit, and he's been serviceable out there. So a lot of versatility with Birdie. He's best in the infield, and the Yankees needed to get infield depth, but he can play all over if needed. What's really fun about Birdie is the speed, though. Last year, he was in the 95th percentile in sprint speed. The Yankees are a slow, slow team. Having this guy on the team just changes things. We loved what we saw with Volpe last year, and now we have Birdie. He can really fly. 95th percentile speed. In 2022, he led the league with 41 stolen bases in 102 games. Last year, only stole 16 bags for some reason, but his speed has not slowed down, and he can steal. He can absolutely fly. That's really good to have. And just think of the depth that Birdie gives. That is the real reason why I love this trade so much. They got Birdie for essentially nothing. They were going to have to DFA Wartvet, and he just gives such good depth. Because with DJ LeMahieu out, for who knows how long, hopefully he's back soon. Birdie, he can play third base every day and be perfectly fine over there. Before Birdie, the Yankees did not really have anyone who you'd be fine playing third base all the time. Their option was Jemai Jones, and he's not proven. He's hit well in the minors, 
has not proven himself himself at the majors like Birdie, isn't as fast as Birdie, doesn't play as good defense as Birdie. And the Yankees went from having essentially no real backup plan on the left side of the infield, who was going to back up shortstop until Peraza became was healthy, and having a poor backup plan at third and second to, to Birdie. It's a massive, massive improvement and it's the depth that really good teams have because injuries are inevitable. Players need off days. So having elite depth really does help over the course of a long season. And that's what the baseball season is. Also, it gives the Yankees a lot of options. Let's say DJ LeMahieu returns and he is bad. We realize he's not, he's not healthy. I mean, they did that last year where they put out LeMahieu and just played him even though he wasn't 100% because they had no other alternatives. Now, if they realize, oh, LeMahieu, he's played a little bit, he's not healthy, he needs to go back on the IL, but okay, play John Birdie more. It gives you that option, and that was something the Yankees did not have last year and something I was worried they were not going to have in the infield this year, but... By getting birdie for essentially nothing, they now have that. Also, Yankees have two more years of team control with him. Free agent after in or in 2026. So this year, then one more year of control. So they have options there. And John Birdie's just a really solid player. He's someone you want on your team. They got him for essentially nothing. This was a great trade by the Yankees. And I'm excited about John Birdie and what he can do in the Bronx.